broadheads. I've been trying a few different things. Like I've said, you know, mostly get my practice on hogs. So that's kind of a, it works on a hog. It'll just about work on anything else as far as getting a blood, blood trail, penetration, uh, and then just effective and ethical kills, obviously. So I've got a few different ones here and I usually keep a few different ones in my quiver just in case whatever I'm hunting, just to have some versatility again. So my first now go-to is probably gonna be the Ozcut three blade. They're actually all gonna be Ozcut at this point, uh, mostly for the durability. I, they're single piece, uh, very sturdy, I've shot Animals, I've passed through animals, I've hit trees, I've hit different things and haven't had any structural issues like I've had with other mechanical or single solid blades. And so this is kind of what I prefer. Again, you know, with hogs being the primary hunting species and then trying to move to different species from there, Neil guy, deer, elk, things like that. I think this kind of covers all the bases and that's what I look for the most is trying to cover all the bases, be as versatile and functional as possible. So this is their three blade elite. It's a straight cut three blade. Again, solid, straight cut, nice piece. This is probably my go-to as far as both penetration and creating a nice hole and getting some blood trail. Uh, so I really like that one so far. I've had a, some good luck with hogs. I've also got the two blade, a little bit of wear on it just from use, uh, being out in some rain, using it on some different animals. This one's probably passed through at least a few animals um, and just continue to reuse, put it right back on the quiver and keep using it. This is like maximum penetration. I mean, it's cutting through hogs like butter, doesn't even slow down and continues to go, you know, 20 yards or more after the fact. So I like these, especially on the big game stuff or the tougher high animals where I just need to have the flexibility to take more different shots as far as, you know, if I run up on an animal that that happens to be quartered a certain way or a bad angle or whatever the case, I know I can slip this in a lot more places and still have a very high effectiveness as far as a quick ethical kill. Um, one of the first ones I tried out was the Hurricane, just because, mostly because it looks freaking awesome. It's uh, almost like a helical cut in a way. It's got kind of that twisted hurricane shape. It's a three blade, single bevel. And um, this one's probably not gonna get you quite the penetration, especially on the tough hide animals like hogs. You know, I've had a stick in a couple. I've had to go through a couple, um, not pass through, but where it's sticking out the other side. And the nice part about this though, is it's gonna tear a hole. It's gonna leave a blood trail for sure. Make a good shot with this and you're not gonna have any issues tracking. I've shot it straight through a hog from overhead, went behind the shoulder, came out the chest, and was the best blood trail I've ever had. It was not an issue at all. The animal maybe went 30 yards, and it was a good sized boar. So, very happy with that as well. A little pick and choose, you know, it's probably not something I'd use on a long shot on a hog or a, a neil guy or something that's a tougher animal, but definitely for tracking related things, and any of the softer high animals, deer, elk, whatever the case, not a bad option for sure. Still just as durable as anything else. Gives you that twisting motion as it enters and just creates a wound channel. So I like that. Um.